Hi guys, it's pretty nice out today, so I'm gonna go out there and work in the garden. But before I do, I'm gonna read you this book. It's called Humphrey's Bear. It's by Jan Wall. It's illustrated by William Joyce. It's published by Henry Holt and Company. So here is Humphrey's Bear. When Humphrey went up the stairs to bed, he heard his father say, isn't Humphrey too old to sleep with a toy bear? Humphrey didn't hear what his mom said. He just jumped under his blanket and snuggled with the brown bear and slept. The bear was very old. It had been Humphrey's father's bear a long ago. As soon as Humphrey was asleep, the bear grew as big as it always did and held him by the hand. Get up, called the big bear standing in the moonlight. Our boat is waiting. I love this bear. Here's your cap, get moving. Sleepy. Humphrey followed downstairs and out the kitchen door quietly so his parents didn't hear him. There was a river running beyond the wet green night grass. At the end of the long planks lay a sailboat. Take the helm, steer, shouted the bear, pulling the ropes of the high flying sails. Cast off! They sailed right out of the backyard. A nice wind whooshed them along, and after a while, the bear served Humphrey and himself a cup of hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. Pretty soon, the river flowed into a huge wet sea, and porpoises sang sea songs for them. Humphrey steered by the stars while the shaggy bear with a banjo danced a fine jig. There he is dancing on the ship. Suddenly, a typhoon came out of nowhere, and the bear slipped and fell off the deck. Humphrey dived for his friend. Where are you? said Humphrey. Blub, blub, said the bear. Eek! I will save you, yelled Humphrey. However, he could not find the bear, even though he swam and he swam and he swam. Oh. Poor Humphrey, poor bear. Until he came to an island. Over a sandy hill, he heard a dreamy banjo playing. There he is on the island. Seashells pinched his feet as Humphrey climbed over the sandy hill. He found the bear and the warm moon outside and hot chocolate inside dried them. Humphrey could smell the bear's wonderful furry fur. They shut their eyes and the next thing Humphrey knew He was in his bed. Bear, where are you? yelled Humphrey. His father was holding the toy bear in the moonlight. His father was remembering when that bear was his bear. Here, son, whispered his father. His mom stood in the half-open door, smiling, as his father put the little bear back in Humphrey's hands. I used to sail with him too. 
Isn't that sweet? And here they all are, snuggling. Hey, before I go, I want to sh introduce you to someone. This is Bernie Bernard, and Bernie Bernard was like M Humphrey's bear to me. Um, I still have him. He's about 50 years old. He used to talk. He doesn't talk anymore because my brother ripped out the cord. Anyway, uh, if you have a pal like Bernie Bernard or Humphrey's bear, it's okay to keep them. It's also okay to get rid of them if it's time to get rid of them. Um, I hope you enjoyed Humphrey's Bear. I enjoyed reading it to you today. Get out, get some sunshine, and then come on in and read a good book.